Well, hi there, Pluckers. I have a sore finger again. With you, thanks indeed for joining me for another guitar lesson. This is uh, a request I've had for a song called uh, Ghost of You by a band called Michael Learns to Rock. Okay, I will put a link in the description box, it will take you to the video of uh, the band playing this number. Okay, um, I'm in standard tuning, no capos as you can see, and I'm doing the lesson in the same key as the, the, the original record and the video that I've put a link to in. Okay, um, now then, uh, I've got to put my hands up here and say I'm sorry but I just can't sing this number it's the vocal range of it is just beyond me so um, I'm gonna have to try and play this uh, the lesson without any vocals <laughs> so you might hear me humming it or uh, quietly singing it in the background okay uh, but hopefully people who know that that song well will know where I am in the song okay so I'm gonna go through the intro um, the first course, uh, sorry, the first verse and the first chorus to start with, and then I'll break that down for you and show you how I played that. Then I'm going to show you how to play the middle section, okay? So, uh, and then you've got all the parts you need basically, okay? So here we go with the intro and the first verse, okay? <laughs> So the introduction is F major 7th, which is F with an open top string, first string, to G, twice, do it again, and then it comes back to that, summer ended back, okay, so it's G, summer's ended back, okay, so it's a G, to A minor 7th, to E minor 7th, which is first finger on the 2nd fret of the 5th string and I'm using my pinky on the 3rd fret of the 2nd string, okay, so it's Summer's ended with to C, trace, A minor 7th, time goes D by on you G brain, A minor 7th, G, Summer, funny, sorry, funny, A minor 7th to E minor 7th to C, and then walk down to A minor 7th, okay, so that's, and then you lower the bass note on the C chord to the 5th fret, on the 2nd fret, 5th string, sorry, and then play A minor 7th, and then A minor 7th with G in the bass, 3rd fret, 6th string, to D, okay, and then a C, okay, so from the beginning of the verse, summer's ended without a trace, so goodbye. G, A minus seven to E minus seven to C. Walk down to E to A minus seven. A minus seven G in the bass. D, C. Okay, just once more. Go through that again. So G, summer A minus seven to E minus seven to C. A minus seven. 
14, G, A minor 7, A, G again, to A minor 7, to A minor 7, to C, brought down to A minor 7, A minor 7 for G in the bass, D, to C, so that's the verse, and same for all the verses, okay? Then we go into the chorus, okay? And the chorus is G, Y, E. Then we play D with um, F sharp in the bass. Different ways of playing D with F sharp in the bass. Some people use a D shape with a thumb over on the second fret of the sixth string. So it's okay. Personally, I use my first finger on the second fret of the first string. Uh, sixth string, sixth string, second fret, first finger. Second finger is going on the second fret of the third string, and my pinky is going on the third fret of the second string. And I play strings five, four, three, two. I don't play the first string. Okay. Okay. So that chorus goes. Why do I into E minor. It's D minor, you go cry for on you, you go so we hit that second on the fourth string of the E minor, strum, take your finger off, play the open fourth string, strum, and then to C, and then lower the uh, bass note from C to B to A minor 7. D. Okay, so from the beginning of the chorus, why do I still cry for you? Dying to get close to you. G again, D with F sharp in the bass to E minor, A seventh. That's second fret. Fourth string and second fret, second string. Okay. So again, from the beginning of the chorus, G. Why do I still cry for you? Dying to get close to you. G. D, D with F sharp and bass, E minor, to A seventh, to C the ghost. D of G U D. Okay, so once once all the way through the verse and the chorus, okay? And the intro. Let's do the whole thing slowly. Summer's ended. Second verse, and then it is a second chorus, exactly the same as what we've done with different words. Yeah, then it goes into comes out of the second chorus, so um, comes out of the second half of the second chorus, so it goes. Um, okay. D, and it 
goes into the middle section, B minor. E minor, release you. C, to get my feet back on a G crown. B minor, still I need my hook to E minor. Hold on to F major 7th. Even if I know you must get back away. C, it's just a part of me that can't be a D raise. So on into another chorus, okay? So that middle section again, B minor, I've been trying to E minor to release you. C to get my feet down, G on the ground, B minor, still I need my hold E minor to hold on to F major seventh, even though I know I should have back away. C it's just the Okay, and there you have it. Hopefully that will make sense to you. Okay, I'm sorry I couldn't sing it, but uh, it's just too much of an ask. Okay, and right at the very end of the song, um, the very last line of the song is basically um, the same as what we've already played during part of the um, the, chor uh, the chorus where it goes. Uh, Every time I look away, I see the ghost of you. The very last line of the song. Every time I see the ghost. Okay, so it's G, D with F sharp in the bass, E minor, A seventh, C, D. Thank you for watching this thing and I'll see you in the next video.